Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing this word to you. Now, this is the last broadcast for the year 2023. <laughs> God. The next time I'm going to be sharing a message like this, which is going to be next year. I mean, next year. You hear from me till next year. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless God for the year 2023. I am so grateful to God for all he helped us to do, for helping us to bring his word to you, for helping us with our equipment, with, with, with everything. The word coming. I mean, you every day, I have to receive a word from, from God for you. What a blessing. And I thank God for using me as a vessel. And I thank you for opening your house up to us, for opening your phones to us, for spending your data what, listening and watching our messages. Thank you for all the testimonies you sent in. Thank you for all the encouragements. Thank you for all your comments. Even the ones that comment bad. Thank you. Thank you. See, I... I I don't receive it in a bad way. If someone attacks the message I preach, I'll tell you the first thing I do. I take it back and I re-examine it. You see, it's a way for me to cross-check whether I'm right, whether I'm true. You don't just say, ah, can you imagine this attack? No. Nah. Check it again. Look at what the person said. Look at your messages. Oh, I can see where the person is coming from. And the person needs more enlightenment. Or sometimes, and sometimes even those comments have helped you to go deeper. Because now you're like, ah, Holy Spirit, why would this person say this? And the Lord says, hey, let me show you something more. Aha! So I enjoy all of it. Trust me, I enjoy all of it. Never, no bad feeling, nothing. I enjoy all of it. Why? All things work together for good to them that love God. Then I thank those of you, you know, that's the amazing part. People send us a message. Oh, please send me account details. I, I feel led in my spirit to give. Not because we asked, not because we say, I don't have a group of people that will come together once a month and say, oh, this is what we need, or what do we do? We don't have. I go before the Lord and say, Lord, what do we do? The Lord says, do this. Just being faithful to the Lord. And the Lord raises up people. And that's how we are sustained. So beautifully. So my testimony is God is faithful. You can't take that away from me. You can't take that away from my children. You can't take that away from our staff members. You can't take that away from anyone around us. We see the faithfulness of God all the time. And, and so when I tell people, you don't need to lie. You don't need to cheat. You don't need to do wrong. Just be faithful where God has commanded you to be and you will be well taken care of. And, 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 and we are ending this year with, with, with all glory and, and grace. Our heart is filled with so much gratitude to God and to you also because all this is happening because of you. If there was no one that needs the message, you know, sometimes it's our last broadcast. So pardon me if I tell you these things. Sometimes we receive testimony like, do you know I was praying concerning this? Someone had, you know, someone had shared to me that I, 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 I got an increase in my job and I was praying to God like, Lord, how do I pay first food now? How do I give first food concerning this? And, and then she began to pray, say, Lord, can you, um, I need teachings on first food. And then we came into this month and here we are, we're going to teach on tithes and offering. Like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, and began and then we're, we're dealing on first. We're like, huh? Like, God just used you to answer all 
my question. So you see, you know, and someone is busy saying, hey, why are you teaching on this thing? Someone is praying to God. And God says, I want to answer this, my child. He comes to a faithful servant that he finds. He says, I want you to teach on this. God, this person will listen to you. And then I obey him and the problem is solved. Heaven takes it. Problem solved. Servant obeyed. We're done. And we keep receiving messages like message, word of knowledge. Oh, you spoke about me. You spoke about my kids. Listen, I would never stop doing this. Sometimes I've had friends who ask me, how, how come you're so consistent? You'd never... I said, I can't. I can't. As long as God gives the word, I will publish it. As long as God gives the word. I enjoy this. <laughs> I enjoy it. It's God's love being expressed through me. That's the beauty of it. Sitting down here and let me tell you the truth. Don't think I sit down and I write a script. Long ago, I learned not to do with script. Why? Because the writer is here with me. So he said, look, see, you know how then we were, what would we say? You know, I, I, I wish. Uh -uh. He says, I will be with you. So stay before the camera and I will tell you what to say. And it's been like that for years. Go to our YouTube channel, check out how many videos we have done, you will understand. You know, sometimes I look at it and say, wow, this is so much resource materials that anybody can sit and just grow from this. We've dealt on several things and we'll still deal with many things next year. As the Lord gives us command. We don't go fishing for what to talk about. No. Lord, what do we talk about? He brings the word, we share it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I Listen, I, I'm sincerely uh, grateful to God for this fellowship. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the next year, we, we of course, I'm trusting God will get bigger. I'm trusting God will have a proper studio so that we can get more cameras, get, get, get things that are come on, no bredeshki. You know, I, I see these things already and I'm ready for it. 2024, we are ready. <laughs> we are ready. We'll set up a world-class studio for the Lord where we'll bring in different ministers to, to, to this. Halakumanaya. And then broke. I'm excited thinking about it. It's going to happen. Praise God. It's going to happen. We'll get the best cameras, get the best equipment, and, and just, just get a wide place. Because sometimes, um, a lot of things we want to do for the Lord. Thank you. Those of you that have just set yourself as partners, every month you give. Thank you. Without us asking, without us calling you to remind you, you just give. Thank you. Are, you know, these things humble me. I'll be sincere with you. I get humbled when I see those things. You're just saying, Lord, okay, we need to do this. How do we get it done? And in the next moment, you're receiving money. If you want to ask the person, sorry, um, what happened? <laughs> what is it that you saw me in your vision praying and what exactly happened? I remember one day, I don't mind sharing this with you, recently, you know, my wife was having a program and I'm your husband, so I'm a husband, so no matter how much, you know, I told her, look, you have to trust God, you have to believe God, stretch your faith. Let God supply. And she was doing all that. Now the day of the program came. And I, okay, they are doing okay. We need we need to do this. We need to do this. We need to do this. Okay. Um, handle this, handle this, send money, send. Then at some point they're like, yeah, Lord. Huh. 
So they had called for something and I'm like, okay, where do I get this money from now? And it was urgent. So I was about to pick up my phone and call my wife. And I didn't even know what to say to her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But as I picked up my phone, as I picked up my phone, I saw a message coming. I opened the message. Someone had sent me money that covered that thing that they needed to do 10 times over. Uh, so I didn't call my wife. I rather called the person. I said, go get that thing. I'm sending the money. <laughs> and that's how do you explain these things? That is giving that the blessing will come to me. And that's because that's the same way we give. So these things we teach, the tithe, it's God's way of fulfilling the promise he made to Abraham is real, brothers and sisters. It is real. Now, because of lack of understanding, understand, that's why I took you this week, I took you how the church started bringing this message to the gent. Now, we are all the Gentile church in that classification because we are not natural Jews. So we are all Gentile churches. So the Holy Spirit began to introduce this thing gradually to us. Now we have come to the full understanding and full knowledge of this. That the tithe was God's physical strategy of fulfilling the promise he made to Abraham that through his seed, which is us, all the families of the earth will be blessed. So today, this last broadcast, I encourage you, tithe properly. Tithe properly. The tithe belongs to the Lord. Very simple. We all agree to that. Yes. Apart from those who say don't tithe, they will still come to this knowledge. Leave them. Just do what is right. You that is tithing, you that believe in tithing, this is my admonishment to you. This is my admonishment to you. Tight the right way. Are you saying I should not take my tithe to church? Listen, it doesn't belong to the church. Except the Lord who's the owner commands you to give it to your church or to any other church. Wherever he commands you to do it. He is the Lord who sees all. Now that is how we tithe right. That is how we tithe spiritually. And guess what? He says anyone who gives um, um, carnally will reap corruption. But the one who gives spiritually will, live, will reap life eternal. Try this. I challenge you. What if I don't hear God? Now that is your problem. And that's not supposed to be because if you are, have the Holy Ghost in you, you ought to be led by the Holy Spirit. It's as simple as that. Hearing God is simply being led by the Holy Spirit. So how does the Holy Spirit lead you? So God wants you to begin to practice being led by the Spirit. That's what He wants from us. In your giving, be led by the Spirit. And when we do this, guess what? Everybody under the face of the earth, I didn't say the Christians, everybody under the face of the earth will be well taken care of. And guess what's going to happen? When we do, see, when, when we don't obey God as God's children, evil will prevail. But when we obey God, we will kill evil. Imagine an, a, one who's been tempted to join an armed robbery gang. I always use this, this example. And why, why he's been tempted? Because he needs money. And someone is promising him, look, when we go one operation, you're going to get this amount of money. And guess what? Just the night he's trying to make up his mind to go for that, that to go join that gang. Here you come knocking on his door, calling his phone. Hey, how are you? How is everything? I'm fine. I was praying, I don't know, somehow your name came to my mind, and God commanded me to send you some money. Please send your account number. Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah. God, co God commanded me to send you some money. Me. Yeah. How? 
Uh, God told me to send you some money. Please stop back to your house. Send me an account on my Biko. <laughs> and I will say it. And he says, and then you obey God. And the person sees the money. Like, ah. you, you don't need to tell that person that this is a sign that he shouldn't go join that gang. Now that's how God have used you to nip. And you didn't know what he was. And he may never tell you. He will just say, you know, I just needed that money. But you will never know. This has happened to ladies. This has happened, you know, a lady just thinking, hey, I have a phone number. If I call this person now, I know I'll get this money. But I know what I'm going to trade to get this money. And while she's busy contemplating God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Here you show up. I said, God asked me to give you this. God, yeah, God. So God knows how to reach me. Yeah. And why should I do this evil? Why should I do? Why should I sin to get what God can give me free? And guess what? That remains a testimony in that person's life. Anytime the person is contemplating evil, the person remembers that testimony. But guess what? God will not stop there. He wants to do it every day in your life, brothers and sisters. He's, he's, and, and then he's not saying you that is walking, be tight into those that are. No! Even you that has a job and you're earning whatever amount you're earning, God is still careful to take care of you. I've shared the story of Jacob. When there was famine in the world, Jacob had money to buy food. He sent his children with money to buy. So money was never their problem. But God said, no, I'll take care of you so you don't pay for it. You remember the story? They paid for the food, but Joseph commanded that their money be put back. And they went back with their money. They never bought food in those years of famine. That's how God takes care of his own. Ah, man, no, brand, no. You know, so, so, some of us, we don't, we don't reason that way. We just think, you no, know, why am I working now? It's, it's people that, it's like pastors who don't do any work that we give to. No, even you, any big check, God still shows that he takes care of you. This is the reason, I'll end with this. When you see the early church, when they got born again, everybody started selling what they had and they were giving it out. Now, the reason was, because, I think I mentioned this last week, the reason was because everybody wanted to start afresh with God. Nobody can preach that now. <laughs> God. But see, if we yield our minds to the Holy Spirit, there is no telling what he will do in our lives. Trust God. Listen to this message. You can, you can take a retreat. I told you this message is connected to the new year because things are going to be so tough physically. But God has used the whole of the month of December to prepare you financially how he wants to take care of you. Listen to this message again and again and again from the beginning, from this whole month. Just, just go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, so you just get all of them. Listen to them and again and again, and God will surely see to it that you're well taken care of. I bless you in the name of the Lord today. I declare even today, before the end of this year, you will still receive a miracle in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That which you're expecting for 2023, God will still give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I also invite you on Sunday, um, the, the, the 31st of the month, we're going to be having our prayer and fasting meeting via Zoom. The link is on your screen. So don't miss that meeting. 12 midnight, West African time. We're going to be entering the new year. So wherever you are, you can join us. Even if it's not your time zone, you can join us to enter the new year and see what the Lord is going to be saying to you. I love you so much. And thank you for doing 2023 
with us. God bless you.